Dante DiVincenzo went from being a soccer star to accomplishing his father's wildest dream in the NBA. All of this while earning one of the most absurd nicknames of all time. Number 7. Dante DiVincenzo's Early Life How did a kid from Delaware, where there are more lacrosse players than basketball players, end up making it to the NBA? Dante was born in Newark, Delaware, where he spent most of his childhood. And if you look up NBA players from Delaware, you'll find a bunch of black and white pictures and a few ballers from the 80s and 90s. Well, that's because Delaware is not known for basketball. In fact, there was a time when Delaware was one of two states in which more high school boys played lacrosse than basketball. Naturally, his first passion wasn't basketball either. He always wanted to become a professional athlete, but his choice of sport was soccer. However, his father John was a diehard Bucks fan. He took Dante and his older brother to Bucks games all the time. Eventually, his dad's passion for the game rubbed off on Dante as well. As he entered high school, he made the life-changing decision of moving away from soccer and focusing on basketball instead. In doing so, he would end up fulfilling his dad's wildest wish years later. Number 6. Basketball Obsession How many people can pick up a sport later in their life and in just a year or two be awarded one of the biggest honors? One thing that would define Dante's career whenever he went would be winning. He is the prototypical 3 and D wing that every team desires. However, the foundational pieces began to form when he was in high school. He attended the Sale Cienum School, where he led the team to two consecutive state championships. As a junior, he averaged 15.8 points, 4.7 rebounds, and 2.9 assists per game. But as a senior, he took his game to another level. He averaged 22.9 points, 9 rebounds, and 4 assists per game. His excellent play earned him Delaware Sports Writers and Broadcasters Association's Boys Basketball Player of the Year in 2015. However, his college career would start off on the wrong foot. Number 5. Journey to the NBA Just as Dante was building momentum in college, something terrible would put his career in jeopardy. Dante would choose to attend the Villanova Wildcats basketball program. He appeared in nine games during his true freshman year before sitting out with a fractured fifth metatarsal bone in his right foot. This was a devastating injury because Dante relied heavily on his speed and athleticism. However, the journey would only make him a better player as he worked on other parts of his game while he recovered. The following year, he scored 21 points and grabbed 13 rebounds during the NCAA tournament win in the first round. He would be named to the Big East All-Freshman Team and the Philadelphia Big Five Rookie of the Year. This would just be the beginning of his award-winning ways, as the next year he was named Big East Sixth Man of the Year. He was also named the NCAA Final Four Most Outstanding Player following their championship win over Michigan, in which he scored a career-high 31 points. He also scored the most points in an NCAA Final Four game for a player coming off the bench. On April 19, 2018, he announced he would declare for the 2018 NBA Draft without hiring an agent, thereby leaving open the possibility of a return to Villanova. On May 29, 2018, he announced he would remain in the draft and hire an agent for going his final two years of eligibility at Villanova. The team that would end up selecting him would leave his dad in awe. Number 4. NBA Career the only thing sweeter than achieving your dream is making your parents' dreams come true. And Dante takes the cake for that. Dante's dad became a lifelong Bucks fan in the late 1960s, early 70s. So imagine his surprise when the Milwaukee Bucks selected his son 17th overall in the 2018 NBA Draft. But he wasn't done making his dad's dreams come true. He would go on to gift him something truly unbelievable. However, Dante's rookie season started off rough, just like his college career. A foot injury kept him out of action most of the year, but in his second year, he established himself as an elite 3 and D player. He would record the third highest offensive rating of any player in the league. The biggest moment of his NBA career would come next year, however, it was bittersweet. In the first round of the 2021 playoffs, Dante went down with a bad left ankle injury. The injury would keep him out of action the rest of the time as he watched his team fight tooth and nail to become NBA champs. 
but he can proudly tell his dad that he helped his favorite team end a 50-year championship drought. However, after the win, he looked for a change in scenery and ended up bouncing around a few different teams before finding a home in the Big Apple alongside his college teammates Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart. One thing that attracted him to New York was the significant bump in pay. Number 3. NBA Contract Now you need to get paid a substantial amount to leave a championship team, and that's exactly what Dante got. When he first came into the league, he was on a four-year, $13 million contract with the Bucks. They retained his right for another year for $3 million. However, after that, the Warriors offered him a two-year, $9.2 million deal, and the short contract and change of scenery were welcome. He saw that as an opportunity to display his skill and earn something bigger in the near future. And that's exactly what he did as the Knicks offered him a four-year, $46.8 million deal. Not only did he stuff his pockets, but he was reunited with his former teammates. The chemistry also sparked Dante to play the best basketball of his career, which had many fans fondly remembering one of his absurd nicknames. Number 2. Fun Nicknames Nicknames are usually fun, but the one Dante ended up with put a ton of pressure on his shoulders. However, Dante is known for two main nicknames, first of which is the Big Ragu. Now, Big Ragu is the nickname the work of Fox broadcaster Gus Johnson, who calls Villanova games on a regular basis. It is a play on his red hair and Italian heritage. The famous call that dubbed him Big Ragu came after Dante tipped in a Josh Hart miss at the buzzer to beat Virginia. But his other nickname is rather audacious. Villanova coach Jay Wright called Dante the Michael Jordan of Delaware. Yep, that's right. The coach jokingly dubbed him the MJ of Delaware after an amazing game. The name is stuck with, but if you're going to be compared to anyone, might as well be the greatest of all time. Now, Dante is in the argument of being the best player from Delaware. It is also one of the reasons why he has such a big following. On Instagram, he is followed by 285,000 people, while his ex account has 24,000. He uses his popularity and fame to give back to those in need. In the past, he has worked with charities like Hoops for Humanity, which aims to eliminate education, gender, and health inequalities and ensure those we serve are empowered to thrive and reach their potential. His fame has also led him to inking a few lucrative deals with some big sponsorships. Number 1 is Net Worth one thing that can boost your net worth is a couple of big endorsements. During his NBA career, he has made around $70 million. A good chunk of that ends up going to taxes and agents and managers. However, that will still leave him with a significant amount. But what does help is that he has two key sponsors. One of them is the world-renowned energy drink Red Bull. The other is a newer sponsor trying to break into the shoe game, Anta, which sponsors the likes of Clay Thompson and Kyrie Irving now also works with Dante. So with all of that being said, we would estimate that Dante's net worth is somewhere around the $20 million mark.